Today, I'm gonna to install a new dash on my 2011 Harley Davidson Ultra Limited. This is a color matched Vivid Black from Advan Black. And if you guys remember, geez, almost two years ago, I did Advan Black saddlebags on this bike and they've been awesome for us and they make the back of the bike look really good. Also, if you remember a couple weeks ago, I talked about doing something to my bike to make my handlebars be able to come back a little more. Well, I'm hoping this is the solution. This is a low profile dash from Advan Black and I'm hoping it sits down just low enough where I can roll my bars back just a little bit more. Uh, not to mention the stock one is chrome and the sun bounces off that thing and hits me in the eyes. And I've dealt with it for 10 years now and now it's going away and I can't wait. Let's get this installed. All right, before we get it installed, I wanna show you guys what this comes with. Obviously comes with the new dash panel. You've got some rubber gaskets that go along here and that seats up next to your tank. One single bracket and three little screws. So it's gonna be super easy install. And last but not least, a push button gas cap. I'm excited for this, it's gonna look good. All right, obviously the first thing you're gonna do is take your seat off. And uh, that's gonna depend on what seat you have. So I'm not gonna show you how to do that. I have two bolts here that hold the solo seat on and then I have a pillion for her. If you're still rocking the stock seat, you just got one bolt. All right, depending on what bike you're gonna be putting this on, this is an ultra limited, so I have a whole bunch of stuff on the dash. I got some, some vents, some overflow tubes, and I actually have my CB wiring here too that I'm gonna have to unhook. Uh, we don't use a CB, so I'm just gonna kind of curl that up and put it under the seat with all the rest of these wires. All right, to get it off, all you need is a 532nd. If you've got the stock bolt in the front, just turn your bars a little bit and that bolt should come right out. And then you just got one bolt on the back that holds this bracket in. I realize I'm using a wrench that's way too big for this, but I am also lazy and I don't feel like going to find my socket set. <laughs> is that because you don't know where it is? I mean, that's half of it. Say hi to the camera so everybody knows who's running the camera. Hi everyone. It's me. <laughs> this just lifts off like that. And see right here, you've got a couple vent tubes. You can just undo these dealios. We're just gonna pull this one out. So what I'm gonna try to do is just unplug this wire at the harness here. I don't know if it's uh, actually going to work or not afterwards, like anything. <laughs> but I don't, I'm, I'm trying to get rid of this whole wire here. So that'll save me a little room under my dash. So I'm gonna unplug it there. And if it doesn't work, I'll put a little thing in the bottom and tell you to try to figure out how to un unplug it from up here. I'm gonna take the opportunity to clean under here with my denim paint cleaner for my gloss paint. <laughs> Stuff works good on anything, really. What we're gonna do first is put this bracket on. I'm just gonna kind of match the stock one so it goes like that. Well, this is way easy. So you're not threading into, I believe this is ABS plastic, yeah. Uh, you're not threading into the plastic you're threading into. There's a couple of bushings in there, so. In case anybody's wondering. I just kind of snugged them up. I might put some Loctite on those later, but for now I'm just gonna to try to put it together. All right, then let's put our gasket on it. It's gonna look good. Yeah, it looks good. All right, so then all we have left is this bolt and our gas cap. All right, this gas cap works like this. You push it down and turn it. And then it, it's flush. And when you release it, you push it down and turn it. And those, those tabs go up and then you can grab it and unscrew it. So how we're gonna do this is we're just gonna put it up here like yay. Make sure all your wires are tucked in underneath. 
Just make sure that's all out of the way. And then I'm gonna put this in. And that'll allow us to center this where it needs to be centered. And now once that's in, we can put our bolts in. So I'm gonna use the stock bolt for the rear. And then Advan Black sends a bolt for the front. I'm actually gonna use my stock bolt. Otherwise, I'm gonna end up losing it. And when I sell this bike, all this stuff's coming back off of it. So I can put it on my next bike. So you probably don't wanna go like super tight on this because it probably maybe could crack that plastic. You're not bolting anything down. It's just kind of holding it there. Ooh, that looks slick. That looks awesome. It looks really good. And that's pretty much it. That's super easy install. So what I would maybe recommend is if you ride your bike a lot or you, you've never changed your dash or had it off and it's rubbed the paint, you might want to go through and polish where your old dash was because it will be visible after you put this on because this was a little more tapered. So uh, you will see kind of where that rubber kind of vibrated for however many years. We've been riding this one for 10 years and I've, I've only had the dash off one other time than this. So the paint's pretty bad underneath. So what we're gonna probably do is just get some polish. We need to clean the bike up anyway, but it's a good winter project. Wait, it is November. Why I know, are there mosquitoes? there's mosquitoes everywhere.